Hello everybody, welcome to Ageless Rock. In this video, I'm going to explore a cluster of Kofuns in Osaka city in Kansai region. This cluster is made up of mostly keyhole shape. It is called Koichi Kofun Cluster. Koichi Kofun Cluster is approximately 4 km by 2.5 km in land area. Within this area, there are 123 Kofuns. Out of the 123 Kofuns, 8 are dedicated to Emperors and 2 to Empresses. This 10 km route is basically full of keyhole shaped mausoleums. The largest Kofun in Koichi cluster is actually the second largest in Japan. It is dedicated to Emperor Ojin, who is the legendary 15th Emperor of Japan. This massive 425 meters by 300 meters Kofun is a sacred site. No one is allowed to go in to see the magnificent volume of 1.4 million cubic meters structure. If you put Khufu's pyramid next to the Kofun, it will sit within the mausoleum. This is not a simple project. The magnitude of this construction cannot vanish in history. This futuristic burial design called Nakatsuyama Kofun is dedicated to 15th Empress Dowager. The dimension of 290 meters by 170 meters is much smaller, but it is nevertheless gigantic. The 15th Emperor Ojin and Empress Nakahime are both legendary and mythical at this point in history. Their mausoleums are just walking distance away. Nakahime's great-grandfather is Emperor Keio. This legendary 12th Emperor is said to be 10 feet 2 inches tall. That means he would have been about 1 foot taller than Goliath. The legendary 14th Emperor Chuai is also a mythical character. This 242 meters by 182 meters mausoleum is dedicated to him. He is the father of Emperor Ojin. Emperor Choi is a legendary character also. This 12th emperor is said to be 10 feet tall. I wonder if that is why locals say the Kofuns were built by a race of giants. Emperor Choi's wife, Empress Jingu, was depicted in Japanese banknote in 1881. I just find that it is an interesting note to note. The legendary 19th Emperor Ingyo, who was the son of Emperor Ojin, has a title, the great king who rules all under heaven. In reality, there is no record of him, even though a 16 acres mausoleum is dedicated to him. You probably see the pattern by now that everyone here is mythical and legendary. However, Emperor Choi and Emperor Keio stands out to me simply because they are giants. From their legendary gene, Emperor Nintoku has a paternal grandfather and a maternal great-great-grandfather who are giants. Is it a coincidence Nintoku has the largest Kofun in the entire Japan? Could he be also a giant? There is an interesting very old footage of a giant. Whether it is real or not remains debatable. Just type Japanese giants and watch it on YouTube and then decide for yourself. These are the top 4 gigantic keyhole Kofuns I mentioned in my videos. They are in approximate proportion to Khufu's pyramid. It is unreasonable to say that the knowledge is completely lost and no one knows anything about it. So they are currently dedicated to mythical emperors. I wonder if I will get one Kofun after making lots of videos on Kofuns. After all, they have 20,000 of them. Hazamiyama Kofun may be small, but it has a stone coffin. Any stone coffin 1,500 years ago will most likely be made of wood, so a stone sarcophagus must be for important person. With 123 Kofuns without any clue of one dead person is highly unlikely. The nearby Nona Kami Yayama Kofun is 154 meters long. It is thought to have a stone coffin. Sounds like they did a radar scan and found something but never excavated. This Kofun may be small compared to others but it makes a good park with a moat that looks like a lake. In front of Ruri Hall on the Kofun, there is a stone monument. 
Hakayama Kofun is 225 meters long and is connected to a pyramidal square Kofun. If this is a tomb for a very important person, it is definitely an odd one because tombs of this size are meant for one great person rather than connect to another dead person on a pyramidal Kofun in an odd location. Sudo Shiroyama Kofun is a large 210 meters long Kofun, but the lacking in material to read is more telling. Such a huge Kofun can go traceless just like the 20,000 Kofuns is just weird, if not mysterious. With 8 gigantic keyhole Kofuns and 123 Kofuns scattered randomly with directions that make no sense, it would be impossible to completely erase from history even if you try. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy my presentation on Koichi Kofun Cluster of Japan and see you next time. Matane!